What's going on? Phil from Fibble Exposed back again with Adam. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about chest pain or chest discomfort when doing chest supported dumbbell rows. So, chest supported rows done with barbells or dumbbells are great exercise, especially for strength athletes who do a lot of heavy pulls and they want to get more volume in without hurting the lower back recovery too much. But some people, especially women, experience a lot of discomfort when performing this exercise. So, I'm going to give you guys a couple of solutions to today's episode. Let's get into it. See here, Adam's performing the chest supported dumbbell row done on the incline bench. This is a great exercise, but a lot of lifters, when they start using heavier weights, you know, they get to 70, 80, 100 pound dumbbells, it tends to really compress the chest. So Adam's gonna demonstrate a couple of reps. So this weight might be fine for him right now, but as he starts creeping into the heavier weights, he may experience this. And this has actually been true for a lot of my female clients. It tends to really compress the chest. So. Now I'm gonna show you guys great alternatives on how to get a lot more out of less weight, still get the desired result, and build up the upper back, build up the lats, so on and so forth, so let's get into it. So as you can see here, this is another setup you could use for the chest supported row, done with dumbbells or with a barbell. You just take a flat bench, put it in the back, take an incline bench, lean it right over, and you take a heavy dumbbell to support on the incline bench so it doesn't move around. Now we basically have a seal row attachment or whatever you want to call it. I took this exercise from Core Excellence, and it's a great exercise to train the chest supported row. So here we are at the chest supported dumbbell row. As you can see, if your feet can't touch the floor, you can simply place the feet on the bench. If they could, go on the floor. So Adam's basically going to start with his chest up. He's not going to row yet. Every movement, every rep is going to start with a retraction like so. He's going to hold that for a second, then he's going to row. Pause for a sec, three second eccentric, one, two, three, and that's one repetition. So you're getting a lot out of less weight. So it looks like this, retract, pause, eccentric. And you'll notice that with this, you don't need a lot of weight to get the job done. And remember, no one cares how much you chest support a row in the first place. We're really just doing this to get some volume in the upper back and the lats. You can even play with the positions of the hands. Right now he has a neutral grip, but he could even pronate his hands like so and do the same thing. So it's a great exercise, very easy on the lower back and it gets that volume in. Good job. Okay, so here Adam's gonna be performing the chest supported row with the barbell. So it's basically like a seal row, he's gonna retract, boom, pull up, pause, there you go. So this is another strict version. It's kind of like the seal roll that you see with these fancy um, benches, except you could just do this setup. And it's not the end of the world. You could also do the same form with an incline bench. I just happen to like when the bench is in a horizontal fashion. I feel like it recruits the back a little bit better from a mind-muscle connection standpoint, but it's not the end of the world to use an incline bench. So this is what it looks like in action. All right, so there you guys have it. That's how you do chest supported rolls with a barbell or with a dumbbell chest pain or chest discomfort free. So I hope you guys learned something. Let me know how it feels when you implement it into your program if you choose to. As far as programming is concerned, you could do these once or twice a week, five sets of 10 to 15 reps. So I like to get a nice solid total of 50 reps to really finish off that back at the end of a workout. So let me know what you think. I was thinking in the comment section below. Go follow Adam on IG. See you guys soon.